Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wynette and you are tuned into Cooking with Win. Into this video, I'll be showing you guys how I bake my fish. So for my baked fish today, I'll be using three tilapia fish, bell pepper, two habanero pepper, ginger, and onions. And for my seasoning today, I'll be using chicken flavor bouillon, adobo or pepper seasoning, parsley flakes, onion powder, garlic powder, and seasoned salt. I'm gonna be using the creamy peanut butter to make my sauce. If you're allergic to peanut butter, you don't have to use the peanut butter. The peanut butter is optional. I just like it with my fish. That's why I'm adding it to my fish, but it's not necessary, okay? And I'm gonna be using the extra virgin olive oil to make my sauce and to also mix it with my fish. So guys, these are the ingredients I'll be using to make my fish today. If you wanna learn how to make this, stay tuned and keep watching. So my fish is already clean. Now I'll go ahead and season my fish. I'll be adding garlic powder. And I'll be adding onion powder. Chicken flavor bouillon, like this much. Adobo or pepper seasoning. Tarapia is one of those fish where when you season, it takes a good amount of seasoning for you to be able to um, taste it on the fish. I'll be adding parsley flakes and a little bit of seasoned salt. I'll be adding some extra virgin olive oil. So once you have your seasoning and your oil on your fish, you can go ahead and mix your fish and your seasoning together. You can wear gloves if you want. I'm not wearing gloves. I'll be adding a little more adobo. So I like to open the fish and go in the middle of the fish and then in the head and add some seasoning. Because the fish, when you bake your fish, the best part. I feel like the best part of the fish is the head when you bake it or when you roast it. But for all my Labyrinth like, people, you already know like back home that roasted fish then to be sitting on the streets. Oh my gosh. Those fish be so good. And even the heads be good. And once you add your seasoning to the, the middle of the fish or the stomach of the fish, you just wanna um, wrap your seasoning in, same with the head. So make sure you season everywhere, the head, the middle, the body of the fish. And I also wanna score my fish or put lime in the fish. This just helps to get the seasoning into the fish good. Once you're done seasoning your fish, you can set this down for like five or seven minutes so you can marinate. But if you don't have the time to let it marinate, you can just go right ahead and bake it. So I'll be baking one of my fish on a sheet pan. You can use a sheet pan or you can use a uh, aluminum pan or whatever you have at home. I'm gonna be adding aluminum foil to my pan just to help me with the cleaning process. I'll be using this to make my fish as well, okay? I just like how wide and big it is, so I'm gonna be using this without aluminum foil. So like the aluminum foil, if you don't want your pan to get too dirty or you don't want the fish grease to stick to the pan that will take you forever to wash it, you can just add the aluminum foil, but you really don't need to. I'll be using my food spray just to spray the bottom so my fish don't stick. Once you have it on a sheet pan like this, take it to the oven and bake it on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. But before you start to season your fish, you need to turn your oven on so it can start preheating. 
I'll be baking this for 15 to 20 minutes. So my fish is on the tray and the sheep pan. I'm just gonna throw it into the oven and get started with my sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and blend my peppers and my onions together. You can do this on a cutting board or you can do it in your hands, whichever one you're comfortable with. I'm so used to cutting things in my hands like this. So, yeah, don't blame me. I'll be blending my peppers and my onions with one cube. And I'm gonna blend these together. So I blend it halfway. Stop it and I'll be adding in my peanut butter. So I'm just gonna be adding a spoon of peanut butter. I'm just gonna finish blending. You can blend it as smooth as possible or you can leave chunks of peppers in it. That's fine. But this is how I like it. And I'm just gonna go make my sauce on the stove. I have my pan on the stove. I'll be adding a little bit of extra virgin olive oil just to make my sauce. You don't need a lot. I'll be adding in my peppers and onion mixture. I'll be adding a little bit of black pepper. You just wanna cook this till it's ready. bit of water into this just so my paper can cook um, all the way through make sure your sauce don't burn you can either keep stirring it or just let it cook or lower your heat so you don't want your sauce too thick okay so just keep an eye on it make sure you don't get too thick like this consistency is okay so my sauce is okay the consistency is fine so I'll be turning this off and I'll just let it cool down or just let it sit until it's time to add it to my fish all right guys so my fish been in the oven for 15 minutes and I just took it out of the oven I'm gonna be um, using my pastry brush to you know brush my sauce on the fish just want to scoop a sauce and then just brush the fish with it. So you want both sides of your fish to have sauce. So what I'm gonna do, or what I usually do, is add the sauce on one side, throw it back in the oven for like five minutes, and then take it out, turn it around, and then add the sauce on the other side. Because I want both sides to have sauce. And if you can, you can brush some of the sauce into the head. Like I said, the head is the best part. And also brush some of the sauce in the middle of the fish. So this one is all set. I'll throw it back into the oven and I'll do the other one. All right, y'all. So I just took my fish out of the oven. It been in there for five minutes. So I'm gonna be flipping this over because I need to add sauce on the other side. Try not to break your fish. So when you flip it over, go ahead and add sauce on the other side. So I'll put this back in the oven for five more minutes. And once the five minutes is up, your fish gonna be all set and ready. All right, y'all, so it's been five minutes. I just took my fish out of the oven, so it is ready. I'll go ahead and plate this for you guys and I'll show you guys my final products. But basically, this is the final stage. Once you, once you get to this part, 
you are all done. You can just go ahead and enjoy your fish. All right, guys, so this is my fish. This is the final product. Once that five minutes is up, this is how your fish gonna look, okay? So you don't wanna let your fish stay in the oven too long before the sauce dry. This is my big fish, plated with fried plantains and rice. So you can have your big fish with anything of a choice. You can have it with rice, fried plantains, you can have it with a chicken, or basically whatever you wanna have it with, okay? So this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, watch my other videos, like and share with your friends and family, and leave me a comment if you have any question or concern. I appreciate you guys for staying tuned to the end of this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.